hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be looking at google drive what google drive is all about we're going to look at google drive look at how you can use google drive on your smartphone and store your digital products you can be able to share links to those products so people can use it you can store digital products like pdf files uh, text files you can store videos audios anything that can be stored in your phone can actually be stored on google drive so the first thing is what is google drive google drive is a cloud storage given to you by the google company once you create or a google account once you sign into google google will give you a 15 gigabyte free cloud storage for you to store your materials you can store your materials you can actually create some materials within google drive and we're going to look at all that so if your phone is full you can actually use space on google drive it can use to back up your 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 android phones like your whatsapp your photos your videos you need to back them up so in case your phone gets missing and you buy a new device you can sign in with the same google account and you download all your materials back into your new device so but in this video we're just going to be looking at how we're going to use google drive store our digital product and how we're going to share digital product with other people through google accounts all right through their google accounts through their, their email all right so let's get to it how do you get google, or how do you get access to google drive google drive is available now almost in all new modern devices you don't need to download a google drive it comes with your device so for example if you buy a new phone and you go to your file manager you get to see a space there for google drive like this is that for my own phone google drive so you have you have 15 gigabyte free storage capacity given to you by google now let's get to the google application google drive application itself this is it now when you open it you're going to see a blank space for me i have a lot of materials that i've put into my google drive so this is my google drive right here and this is my google account that i created it's already funny because most people buy their phones and when they create their google account they simply just use it or they are forced to create it because they want to have access to their play store but they don't even know google has given them a 15g cloud storage for them to store their materials so you can really use google drive it's very helpful all right and this is how i've stored a lot of materials on google drive for my trainings these are materials for my trainings you can see different folders some materials for my trainings all right so first i want us to look at how google drives work or the, inter the, the interface of google drive so first we're going to start by clicking here you're going to see your recent you see your backups your settings so these are things that you can actually get to let's say it's trash is where if you've deleted anything from your google drive account it goes to your trash and then if you want to delete it permanently go to your trash and you delete it backups are basically the folders or the applications you wish to be backed up to your google drive okay maybe you want your whatsapp messages your whatsapp history to be backed up your uh, your text messages to be backed up so you can go to backup and you see the things that you've decided to be backed up so uh, for me i was my whatsapp is always backed up every day all right so let's go back to the google drive homepage. so these are my files on google drive all right now let's click on the home button you will see the way google drive will display your things in another manner probably the last time you opened it or last time you shared it with someone so i would like us to stay with files and i'm going to show you guys how to use google drive to upload a material so once you sign into google you get google drive you have google drive space you can download it if your phone doesn't have it so for you to upload a material in google drive you click on the plus button for it to upload a product so you see they'll ask you what do you want to create is it a new folder or you want to upload something from your phone to your google cloud storage or you want to work on google docs google sheets google slides or you want to scan so basically these are the things you will see but we want to upload something 
from our phone to your google drive so i'm going to click on upload and now i'm going to choose a picture let me say i'm going to upload this picture upload it to our google drive cloud storage so this is the picture that i just uploaded now if i want to create a folder so i can organize my materials so you can see these are folders with different materials these are mostly videos for my teachings you can see now these are documents okay so i just uploaded a picture so what i need to do is i click on the plus sign you get to realize that when you're scrolling up the plus sign disappears when you bring it back down you have your plus sign you click on the plus sign and you click on folder and you can name the folder whatever name you want i can say documents and i click on create okay and this is the folder i just created all right now i can for me to put my image in that folder i can go to the image that i just uploaded this is it and I click on this three dots by the side of it. And I'll get my options. So I can copy the link to this image. I can share this image with somebody. I can manage the people and the link that I want to share to, if I want to share to someone. Now I can star it as well so I can easily get access to it. I can make available offline. Now I can copy link make a copy send a copy you choose another way to open it and then now you can move okay or you can print it if your device is attached to uh, a printer then remove is that you're going to delete and send it to trash okay add, add to home screen going to add to the home screen of your phone all right now i want to move it into the new folder we created document so i'm going to click on move and the, my available folders will pop up so i'll click on the document folder and then i click on move my photo has been moved from the document folder from uh, this home page out of without the folder and it's gone into the document folder that i created so i have my image in it now you can click on it to, to view it that's the image you can click on it to view it all right now let's say you want to share a document with somebody or you want to share this a folder with somebody so all you need to do is click on this three these three dots beside the document or the the folder or the video or the audio you know it, can, it, dep it depends on you so you can let's say i'm going to use that same folder we created document okay I'll click on the three dots and I'll click on share. Now, if you want to share, you can choose write the, the email of the person you want to share. So I'm going to write my other email. This is my other email. Then I'll choose when you look at this drop down arrow here, you can choose what that person should do on the document, what the person will be able to do. Do you want the person to you can click on that you see that you can choose if the person will only be a viewer the person can view and not say anything or if it's a document that like is a, a um, microsoft word document you can say the person should be an editor the person should open the document and be able to edit it and send back to you or you can choose to make the person a commenter okay so it's all up to you most of my videos i only make the people to be the viewers they can only view them because they are mostly lecture tutorial videos so i don't really need anybody to comment or organize or anything for me because it's going to bring me a lot of emails so i'm just say this is up to you anyway so you can make the person to be a viewer click on viewer and then down here you can add your message before you send to the person's google account you can say hello Check this and tell me what you think. 
now i just did this with my uh, i'm using my two google accounts got my my two emails so i'll send click on send and it's gone it's going to go to see the person has been added now this is one thing i want you to notice now when you share a document or a video or any file with someone using google drive you realize this small icon this small person icon will appear on the document it simply means this file has been shared with somebody all right when we didn't do it when we were not when we did not share it this was not really there it wasn't there so it means this has been shared so when you open your file you easily look at you see know the folder that you've shared with someone before you can see all these videos i haven't shared them but i've shared this video with somebody so i haven't shared most of my materials now when you go like to this this is my free video content creation to say i've shared this i always send the link to people to watch now i want to show you guys how to get the link the link for your google account but before we get there let's go and check how it would look like when the other person sees your receives your email that you do ask so this is it i'm going to have opened my order my email to the account that i sent you this is the notification come gustav agam via google drive folder shared with you documents okay so this is what the other person you shared with will see so you can see this is a documents folder that i shared with my other name so i can get to open it click on open open it and i do what i have to do i want to comment i'll comment so let's get back to our google drive all right back to google drive now if you want to share a link to one of your document one of your products it might be video or something that you recorded anything to some with someone you have to click on it it can be a folder as well and then when you click on the three dots by the side do you know this is where you open your options okay so when you click on it you click on manage people and links okay you can click on manage people and links now you realize that this particular folder is restricted so here you get to choose change click on change click on this arrow and to tell you anyone with the link this simply means that anyone with the link should be able to view or to see what you share to them even if you're not the one that shared it someone else can take the link and give it to somebody and that person should be able to view what is on your google drive account so you should know what you're going to share with the you can share with the public or not okay so i can say anyone with link if you want it to be restricted you have to add the person the other way so i can say anyone with the link okay so this is to copy your link you have to go there and the link is copied now for example i'm going to go to my whatsapp and i'm going to paste the link to my other google my other whatsapp number i'm going to paste the link to my other whatsapp number So that is the link to that to the document mcb 404 okay this was the actually um document for all right so let's get to it so this is it so right what i can do right now is that i can actually the other person has seen your link the person just clicks on it and can open it to see what you shared with them you understand that's just how it works so that the document the folder actually had nothing that's why so now let's get into back to our google drive okay so you've learned how to do that how to share how to share copy something and share the link to someone for example if i'm going to be sharing a video with somebody Like say this video I want to share this video with somebody
now if i want to share this video with somebody i obviously just click on the three dots and i choose to share i can share to google and all that or i can also come to copy link all right and let's say you bought a new phone and the the, the, the first phone was stolen or you get you got bad now if you want to get back all your materials from google drive to your phone all you need to do is sign in with the same google account download google drive if your phone doesn't have it and then go back to google drive and open your materials and click on download you can download them back into your phone from your cloud storage back into your phone okay you can also add a shortcut to google drive on your screen all right so you can you already know how to share folders you know how to here is basically this button up here is basically for comment okay for like if you want if you actually share with somebody and make the person to be a commenter person can comment and you'll be able to see the comment there so that's how you share your video links or a link to any products not just for video you can copy the link from here but before you copy the link make sure you know that you have managed it properly so for this one is still restricted only people added can open this link so i'm going to change it to anyone with the link should be able to view that particular video on me with my on my boat cruise and i can still copy the link from here okay so the anyone and i made the person to just be a viewer or a commenter it's all up to me so i can click here copy the link i go back to and i paste it Send to my other number and i'm going to my other google account and i'll have access to it so and i'll click it there click this is actually what happens now i can play the video though the person can play the video and the person can actually drop a comment here the person can actually drop a comment here if you can drop click on add new and drop a copy and drop drop a comment you had a great time and sent and my go the, the the person who sent you is going to receive an email the person is going to receive an email in google from google saying that this person has commented and that person has said this so basically that's all now whenever you go back to the same video you'll be able to see that i have shared the icon is now up and then i can be able to see my comments now from goosey black you had a great time that's my other google account i just said that all right so that's how you use google drive so to see your shared materials you can click on the shared button and you see only materials that you have shared these are the things that i have shared only the things that you have shared and you realize that these are the materials that you've been able to share with somebody through google and all that through yeah through google by sharing the links or either adding the person to it so that's it guys that's all about using google drive in my next video i'm going to be showing you guys how to back up your device using google drive okay how you can back up your messages whatsapp photos videos your gallery everything on google drive well before i go i'm going to show you guys how to get more storage if your 15 gig gigabyte storage is full you just have to click on this option up here and you click on buy storage you can see currently when it opens up currently i had 15 gig free but i purchased uh, 100 more i purchased uh, I increased my storage to 100 it was only about uh, two dollars it's only about two dollars to increase your storage to 100 so you can actually do that too okay so when you click on buy storage you'll be able to see other options of how you can buy storage yeah this one buy so you can see monthly plan weekly plan so to have a hundred gigabyte of storage 0.99 dollar a month you're going to pay and you can choose to even pay 
annually or monthly it's all up to you you can increase your storage if you want two terabyte that's 2000 gig you'll be paying ten dollars a month five terabyte of cloud storage it's all up to you so you can actually back up everything someone like me, i back up my whatsapp every single day every single day so that's how you use google drive guys so if you find this video helpful please like and drop in the com uh, drop in the comment section let me know if you want to see more videos about google drive because my next video i'm going to be showing you guys how to back up your android phone your applications on google drive my next video about google drive is going to be about that so i'm hoping you guys find this video helpful please subscribe and stay notified to the youtube channel each time good educative video drops and please like so that this video can help somebody else can someone else can find it and find this tutorial very very helpful thanks for watching guys and see you in my next video peace